Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my top five favorite perfumes. I have been avoiding this video because I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not know perfumes like that and I struggle to describe smells and stuff over the camera. Like, I just don't understand how to do it. And when I go shopping for a perfume, I don't wanna know the keynotes. I don't wanna know the backstory behind it. I do not care. I wanna fall in love with the smell and buy it and walk away. Like, if you start telling me this whole spill, I can't concentrate on the fragrance and I, I will likely leave. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, like, okay, thank you, have a nice day. And then I will wait until you're gone and I'll go back and smell the things I wanna smell <laughs> and purchase what I wanna purchase. I literally just go off of the scent. Now, before I tell you guys my top five, I do wanna tell you what I lean towards. So I don't usually go for super feminine, super floral or anything like that. Not too masculine, but leaning on the masculine side. There's definitely one in here that is pretty masculine. A lot of these are more of the unisex scent. I really kind of fell in love with perfumes because of Tom Ford and Killian. So that, that should give you a little bit of a roundabout idea of what I like. Generally speaking, I don't like scents that I smell everywhere or that I feel like, okay, this perfume has this name on it, but I swear I smelt that same perfume 10 minutes ago with that brand. So I like something just a little bit different as well. It's been in the last year and a half that I really acquired <laughs> a lot of these fragrances and I have narrowed it down to five. So these are the top five that I use out of my collection. I believe I have like 20 perfumes. These are the ones that I grab for the most. I'm going to save my absolute favorite for last, but all the other ones are in no particular order. Neroli Portofino Aqua. I actually prefer the Aqua to the traditional just because this one on me is a little bit more citrusy. I feel like it's a little bit more airy and I absolutely love this. It doesn't last as long as the actual perfume. I mean, you can't really expect it to, but I love this guy and you can see right here, like I've used quite a bit of it. And this is my second bottle of this. So I'm gonna show you guys the notes so you guys can see if that is something you're interested in. Again, it's not my thing, but I'll tell you why I like it. The notes are citrus and amber, and it is vibrant, sparkling, and transformative. Absolutely agree with that. I like to wear this the most in the summertime. Like I just feel, and invigorated. I don't feel this is too heavy. It's probably one of the lighter ones that I like to wear. The first time I wore this out, like after I bought it, Kelsey got in the car with me. She goes, oh girl, you just smell so sexy. And I was like, yes. I told her what it was and she was like, oh yeah, that is your fragrance. So this was probably my very first real love with Tom Ford. And then I moved on to some others, which I'm gonna go straight into that one. Sole Depositano from Tom Ford. This one came out last year and I fell head over heels for this. I have it in the little atomizer with my name is Puffin's Wife is engraved on the top here. So traditionally I like to use it out of this. The thing is I like to not be able to see how much I've gone through. I like to see the bottles more full. I don't know why I am that way, but I will use it out of this before I will grab it out of this bottle. This is in the fresh family. It's fresh citrus and fruits, lemon, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys read the notes over here. But this one just makes me feel like I am at the beach. It's so tropical. I like to wear this the most during the summer. So like during the winter and fall, I didn't grab this as much. But right now, I've definitely been wearing it more. I love this one and the Nor Neroli Portofino Aqua so much in the summer just because it just screams freshness. It's almost like I can taste salt water in my mouth when I have these on. I just think they are beautiful. The next one is from Creed. I feel like the last two, Tom Ford, are definitely more unisex, but this one leans a little bit more on the masculine side. So if you don't like that, you might not enjoy this, but I'm obsessed. Millicene Imperial. I don't even know where the top to this guy is. The top notes are bergamot, green mandarin, and lemon. So again, we've got a little bit of that citrus in here, but this just, to me, this is just sexy. I don't know what it is about this. I like to wear this 
on a date night to the movies, anything like that. This isn't something that makes me feel very fresh, but sophisticated. Like, I don't know. It makes me feel like a boss. That's how this guy makes me feel. I just think it's so, like, ugh. I take this one and I spray it in my car sometimes because I love getting into the car and smelling this. And it's funny because after I wear this one, it's usually this one specifically and another one I want to talk about. But when I wear this and I'm holding my dog, Charlie, the kids later on will be like, Charlie smells like you. Like it, it lasts on me so well and it transfers over to my dog and it lasts like two days on her. <laughs> This next perfume is the only floral one in my collection that I absolutely love. And I have spoken about this on my channel before. It's Gabrielle Chanel. Now, I went to training for this and <laughs> they were very specific about saying it is not just Gabrielle, it's Gabrielle Chanel. So that's why I'm saying it that way. It has jasmine, orange blossom, some kind of tuberose, and yang yang. I, can't, I cannot say that correctly. Whatever, I'm going past it. <laughs> but when I first tried this on, I didn't like it. When I first smelt it, I was like, eh, you know, it's not for me. And I wore it one day and I ended up liking it. And then Eric liked it. Eric is Puffin. And I don't know, I kept picking it up. So he does like a more feminine fragrance. So he loves this one. He's kind of like, okay, about the other ones. But I don't know. I wear a scent for myself, not really for people around me. Now, if he said, oh, I hate that fragrance, I wouldn't wear it around him. But he doesn't hate any of them. But he loves this one. This is the perfume I like to grab if I'm going to the doctor, if I'm going just run errands or something like that. No specific event for it. I just... It's a very easy perfume to wear. And the detailing on the bottle of this is so pretty. Like there's even a Chanel logo on the inside of the cap. And now this one is my favorite, my ride or die. I could wear it every single day for the rest of my life. I would not get bored of it. I don't know what it is about it, but I just feel like me. Like I am Mel when I am wearing this perfume. And it's from Tom Ford. Oud Mineral. This is, oh, uh, it's like absolute perfection to me. This is in the warm and spicy family and I 100% agree with that, but I feel like I can wear this all year round. It really works so nicely in the winter, like sitting by the fire. That's what I think about this. Sitting by the fire and maybe having an alcoholic beverage, but I don't really drink that often, <laughs> but that's what it makes me think of. <laughs> The first key notes, salty, seaweed, pink peppercorn, oud blend. I can't pronounce the rest, so I will let you guys see that on the little picture. But this is so special to me, and it's so different than anything else in my collection. And this is the other one that lasts really well on me, and Charlie will end up smelling like I love it when it's like the next day, and I'm not wearing it anymore, and I pick her up and I smell it. <laughs> Oh, she enjoys it. It's not like it's on her head or anything, but it's like on her back because her back is up against me, but it smells so good. So those are my top favorite perfumes. I apologize. I know I'm not great at describing scents. It is not my forte. I can tell you how to blend an eyeshadow and I can tell you that I like a perfume, but I can't really explain why. <laughs> but I do want to give out just one little shout out of honorable mention because like I said, I had to cut this down to five, but in case anybody's wondering, my sixth would be Killian's Vodka on the Rocks. That's just a sexy scent too. But let me know down below, are these your type of scents? Or you're like, no ma'am, or have you tried them? Do you like them? Just let me know down below and maybe let me know your favorite perfume. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.